Okay, so it's been a little while since I've covered Orange Pi 5. This is the Orange Pi 5 Plus, which is the 16 gig model. And the reason I've uh, booted this one up today is because Joshua Reich has released a newer version of his custom Ubuntu. And this is the latest version, 24.04, Noble Numbat. And uh, it is very impressive already. Uh, on the Raspberry Pi 5 at the moment, we're still on 23.10. Although interestingly, we have a newer kernel, so 6.5.0 compared to 6.1.0 on the Orange Pi. But uh, both work very well, uh, in fact, especially well on the Orange Pi 5 on the browser. Um, but uh, gaming, not so good uh, on Linux on the Orange Pi 5. I've always favored it on Android. Android drivers are, are very good on the Rock chips, but Linux tends not to be as good. But this has got the latest Panfork Mesa drivers installed, so uh, we'll give it a go and see how well it performs. So let's have a look at the Orange Pi 5 Plus uh, first of all. So the web browser installed is Chromium. So this is a beta version, but it is working very well. I've been really impressed with it. And you can see all of the highlights that are in here. And the main one I was impressed with was 3D video hardware acceleration via Panfork and you see smooth video playback up to 4K. And this supports loads of different boards, so Indie Droid, Mixtile, Nano PC, loads of Orange Pies, uh, Radexa as well, and the Turing. And all I did was to download the file, so obviously the one for the Orange Pi 5 Plus, and uh, just wrote it with Raspberry Pi Imager to an NVMe drive, put the NVMe drive, and it boots straight away. So very easy to do. So let's just have a quick look at YouTube. And if we go, oh, it's, so it started on 4K, and as you can see, it looks pretty decent. Uh, obviously, it had a little blip there as, uh, as I was changing the size, but uh, it's not dropping frames playing a 4K video. Now, this is on a 1080 monitor, but it's still playing the 4K file. Uh, 4K 30, so maybe I need to look for uh, 4K 60 and see how well it does that, but that, oh, not 4L 60. Oh, that'll do, so a game. So Fortnite, uh, it's playing in HD at the moment, and it's dropping, for, oh, it's playing in 1440. Let's go up to 4K. And it started playing pretty quick. I'm looking at the video first of all, and it looks actually pretty decent. It's dropping occasional frames, but I would be happy to watch that. Yeah, that's pretty good, really. So 4K playback, yeah, impressive. So I've installed Geekbench 6 with PyApps, so let's run that. So control Alt t to open a terminal, Geekbench 6. So while that's running, I've just started it on my Raspberry Pi 5 as well, and uh, we'll see what happens at the end of it all. Okay, so Geekbench scores are quite a bit higher on the Orange Pi 5 Plus, uh, which has double the RAM as well. Uh, so 827 single core versus 749 on the Raspberry Pi 5 and 2936 multi core versus 1611. So the Orange Pi 5 Plus definitely wins that test. Let's have a look at some games. So let's go for PlayStation 2 first of all. Open this in a terminal and let's just run it. So both are going to be running 1080. There's no overclock involved in this, um, but I do plan to overclock the Raspberry Pi 5 pretty soon. Uh, so let's go for Dave Mirror. And I've got a save state on here, so I can just go straight in. There we go. And let's see, I think this is running, yeah, okay, so you can see this is running awfully. Um, but if I press F9, that puts it on software renderer. Um, and that does tend to work better. So if we just ride around for a bit and just sort of show how well it's doing. So what, 50 FPS, which is what it should be. So happy enough with that. But definitely with GPU, it really doesn't like it. So if I press F9 again, uh, so this is on OpenGL. I think it doesn't run with, uh, with Vulkan. I'll try it in a second. Yeah, you can see OpenGL is awful uh, and really doesn't run well at all. And if I just go back to settings and graphics, yeah, OpenGL. And if I select Vulkan, 
Oh yeah, so it doesn't, doesn't work with Vulkan at all. So let's put it back to software, which is the one it works best on. And uh, I'll restart the game and I can run it side by side with the Pi 5 so you can see it with the FPS and also how well it's running. So both running pretty much the same there, nothing really in it. Let's do the same with PPSSPP. So on this, it's running OpenGL. You can see there's no other option to pick on that. One times PSP, I haven't changed anything else. Let's just go into a quick race. And I think we can tell it's not looking good. Same again on Raspberry Pi. And if we quit, you can see that it's running, well, I'm running two times PSP, and I'm also be able to select Vulkan. So if we go back in, I think it lets me do, yeah, I've got save state here already. And it just feels a lot faster as well. So let's jump into a race again. Yeah, well, you can see, it looks amazing. The audio is perfect, and it's not struggling at all. It's a really good game as well, actually. It's a PSP game. It's got really nice arcade sort of handling. And as you can see, it looks pretty decent. I did try it at three times PSP, and it played... In fact, it played better than on the Orange Pi uh, at one times, but it's, uh, it's better to stick to two times. So absolutely no contest there. Running at twice the resolution, the Raspberry Pi 5 was perfectly playable, whereas the Orange Pi really wasn't at all. Have to stress that if I was running this on Android, I think the results would be almost the opposite. Um, just because, as I mentioned at the start of the video, the RK3588 is really well supported on Android, just not so much on Linux. So I've got Dolphin on here as well. So this is GameCube and Wii. So a bit of Dave Mirror again. And yeah, the <laughs> it's definitely struggling. Not working at all well. So let's try a different graphics. So let's try, so that was Vulcan. Let's try OpenGL. Hmm, looks like it's struggling the FP. Oh yeah, it's definitely struggling on OpenGL. I don't know if this one runs on software. Let's give it a go. I'm just trying it on software renderer and yeah, I can see straight away it's, it's not going to work. So I think I'll do the side by side test with a different game and so Vulcan was the best one on this. And I don't think it was in it, yeah, there was no option to choose on here. So let's try a bit of Smuggler's Run and we'll do the gameplay test on that, the side by side. So as you can see from that, Dolphin works absolutely fine on Raspberry Pi 5 and is unplayable on Orange Pi 5, again, within Linux. I'll just show a bit of another mission full screen. So this again is on Raspberry Pi 5. What am I supposed to do? I'll go through the markers again. But yeah, it's not, it's not struggling at all. It feels really good to play. Oh. And uh, I'll try a bit of Dave Mirror as well. So if I just quit out of that. If I try different graphics, uh, I do get the option for Vulkan. Uh, and we do have a couple of different options here. 
but uh, they're not as good as OpenGL is on this emulator. Uh, so Dolphin just tends to work better with OpenGL on the Pi 5. I don't know if it'll even let me launch it. Yeah, it doesn't like it anyway. So back to OpenGL, which works really well. And I think I've also had it at a higher uh, resolution as well. Uh, here we go, enhancements, native resolution. Let's try two times. All the menus look lovely and crisp. Well, it looks good. Oh, but it sounds like the audio's off. Yeah, the audio's off. Okay, so not two times then. Maybe with an overclock. I'm not sure if I've had this working better with Raspberry Pi OS. Um, but uh, yeah, no, that definitely isn't working. Looks great though. Looks so good. I quite like playing it slow. You can get in some extra tricks <laughs> and some crashes. So let's quit out of that and definitely drop that back to the standard resolution. We didn't have a one and a half times, no. So I might revisit some of this uh, using Android on both systems to see how it goes because obviously this test definitely seems to favour the Pi. Although that said, uh, have I got Chromium on here? Uh, the web browser was definitely better on the Orange Pi because it was pretty much passing the test of playing 4K. Yes, it was dropping some frames, but I couldn't really tell uh, looking at it that it was dropping frames. Let's see if we can find that same Fortnite video. Just go with this one. So we are currently at 720. Let's go straight up to 4K and full screen. And let's right click and stats for nerds. Just thinking about it. Definitely didn't get there as quick. Oh. So it's in 4K. Ah, yeah, it's definitely slowing down though. 265 frames dropped. Okay. So definitely the Orange Pie wins on the YouTube test but not on the gaming, uh, at least within Linux. Anyway, I hope this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.